Alright, today's the 30th of May. I am going to make my own mic drop board to see what kind of drops I am actually getting on the Varroa mic. And all I did is bought this at Tractor Supply. It's one of the signs. I'm just going to uh, put some Vaseline on the um, one side. And then I'm going to put it in my oil trap area. I think it'll fit fine. And we have got nothing but rain, rain, rain. And now the sun's out. The bees are flying, 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 and they seem happy. Inspection either in a while. I'll probably need to. Oh man. Yeah. You know what? I've had a few bees get in there. Not many. But we're gonna clean this out. It's become pretty nasty. As you can see. I'll have to figure that out. I'm gonna see if this is gonna fit up in here. Oh yeah, no problems. Um, that's why I got the glove. And I probably need. I got the glove. Done. Try to keep the Vaseline clean on here. Shouldn't take a whole lot. I would imagine a Vaseline to trap those little bugs. Some people said use Pam, but we are out of that. I don't even know if you can see that. But we're gonna start with the 24 hour test first. Let's see how that goes. So I'll come back here tomorrow see it is uh 156 so two o'clock tomorrow I'll be back to check it see what kind of drops we're getting if any I know I've uh I look for them I'm not saying I know what I'm looking for other than what I've seen on YouTube and the internet So I haven't seen any on the bees. But I was told if you have bees, you got varroa mite, especially in Louisiana. That's into that. Something else I did was I had a robber screen. I put well, I put a palm patty in here yesterday, and I I was afraid I was gonna put sugar water on them, but my box I built really I I messed it all up. That would have went on top of this, so I didn't want them getting robbed out. So I put the robber screen on, and for the life of them, they couldn't figure out how to get out. So I don't know if. Uh, as a notch, they'd go like they. It was on like this, with a notch up here at the top. 
what they do is they'd walk around in circles on here and they'd get to about right here and then go back down so I don't know if with this being on top was what messed them up so if I put the sugar water on them which I've had to rebuild the whole box I'll put it so the door is on the bottom and maybe they'll find their way out next time but they definitely were not finding their way out and we had one dead bee in there so I'm just gonna leave it like that right now I don't see no issues and here comes the bee out now I can still see them taking in pollen on the other one, so that's a good sign. Let's see if we can get a little footage of them. Sure does smell pretty over here. I'm seeing B parts. <sighs> Oriented the way it was in. So this is how it was sitting in there. Don't know that I'm seeing any from the pictures that I've seen. I'm not seeing any mites. I have not seen any. That I can tell.
So I'm gonna set this down and get better video of it so I have it. Well, that ain't working. Let's get over here. I think I put the Vaseline on thick enough. And you can see it standing on it. I mean, I do not see any on here. All right, it's the 1st of June. This is a 24-hour inspection of the uh, mic board. Uh, yesterday's 12-hour inspection was a uh, pretty good. See what we got for today. I'm still not seeing any mites on this. I'll hold the board in front of the screen here. Oh, I think I see one. 
that's right there that little black speck it looks like it's got legs could be wrong But I do not see anything like what I've looked at online as far as the Varroa mites. I'm not even sure if... What that is, to tell you the truth. No, I don't think that's one either. Mosquitoes, though. Man, tear me up. I don't see any on here. So I'll um, put it back in and give it a another day just to see everywhere. All this rain. Alright, till tomorrow.